All right, here we go. Let's find the greatest common factor for three and nine. So the greatest common factor, the GCF, sometimes you'll see that called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are all the same thing here. So let's use GCF. So what we'll do is we'll find the factors of three and nine look for the ones that are in common and then choose the greatest factor. That's the GCF. So for three, one times three, that equals three, but that's the only factors for three. For nine, you could do one times nine and three times three, that equals nine. So those are the factors for nine. So we have our factors, what's in common? Well, one will go into three and one will go into nine. So that's a common factor. And then three, that goes into three evenly and nine as well. And that's the greatest one. So in answer to our question, the GCF for three and nine, that's just three. You can do this other ways like prime factorization, but for small numbers, this works pretty well. This is Dr. B finding the GCF for three and nine. The answer, three. Thanks for watching.